Welcome to the first tutorial of the Getting Started tutorial series of the SimScale platform. We will run a complete engineering simulation using the SimScale platform. In the first tutorial, we're going to analyze this connecting rod CAD model using a finite element based static stress analysis. So we will later see the von Mises stress field as a result, as well as the displacement of the connecting rod under a pressure load. Here, visualize using vectors or glyphs, or with another visualization, here using a warp by vector filter that gives us a qualitative information of the displacement. So how to do such an analysis with the SimScale platform? Let's get started. SimScale works completely via a web browser, so there is no need for any local installation or plugins whatsoever. We simply go to simscale.com, Click on the login button, type in our login credentials, and we're good to go. In this tutorial, we start with the Tutorial 01 project that we have imported from the SimScale documentation. We can see that there is just one CAD model in there, the connecting rod. To visualize it, we switch to the Mesh Creator tab and click on the tree item of the CAD model. This directly loads the CAD model in the 3D viewer, and we can interact with it completely in 3D. So let's create a finite element mesh. We click on Mesh Geometry, which automatically creates a new mesh based on this CAD model. We give it a name, choose the fully automatic tetrahedralization, we leave it as first order, we set the finest to cores, and we start the mesh operation on one core. In the lower left, the job status bar always keeps us updated about the progress of the mesh operation. Once the mesh operation is finished, the mesh is directly loaded within the 3D viewer. We can see that a tetrahedral volume mesh has been generated that we can now review and um, further, uh, for example, using the mesh clip and looking at the inside of the volume mesh, etc. Now that we have a mesh, let's start to set up the actual simulation. We switch to the Simulation Designer tab, click on Create New Simulation, give it a name, and the new simulation appears. The first thing to do is to choose the actual analysis time. We are interested in running a solid mechanics analysis, a static stress analysis. This is this one, we save it, and we can see on the left that the tree is automatically expanded with all the items I have to define. Red means um, there is something to be defined. Blue means it's optional and green is already defined. Let's start with the domain. I click on the domain and choose the uh, mesh that I have just created. It is automatically loaded in the 3D viewer <clears throat> and we can see that um, it appears green so we can move on. The next relevant tree item is the materials tree item. Here we add a new material. The default material is steel. We just leave everything as it is. And we now have to assign this material to the volume of the connecting rod. So we check the volume and move on. The most interesting part of the simulation setup is the boundary condition setup. We can see that we have force and displacement boundary conditions. We start by creating a pressure load, so a new force boundary condition of type pressure load. We use um, 20 bar um, as a pressure value. We select these two faces, use the assign selection from viewer button, to assign this boundary condition to these um, faces, to the red faces we can see. As a second boundary condition, we will create a fixed constraint at the top of the connecting rod. So we create a new displacement boundary condition, give it a name, um, leave all displacement values at zero, so which basically means fixed. We choose these three faces and again use the assign selection from viewer button to assign these boundary conditions this boundary condition to these three faces. We don't change anything um, regarding numerical settings and also not regarding simulation control. We also won't assign any result control items and we, um, last but not least, move on to create the actual run. A simulation run is basically a snapshot of uh, the current simulation setup, so I give it a meaningful name. 
And we can see that now the settings that we have um, set up, they are all saved um, in the settings of this run, so I can later review it. By clicking on the Start Simulation Run button, I actually kick off the job um, in Remote Computing Center, and um, the results are transferred back in real time, so whenever they are present, I directly get them back. This simulation run finishes after um, a few moments, and then I have um, the result fields available, and I can move on to the post-processor tab. So I switch to the post-processor tab. I can see that the solution fields of my run that I just um, that I just uh, kicked off are available. So I click on solution fields, which automatically um, loads the post-processing environment. I can see that no color field is yet chosen, so I directly switch to the von Mises stress which loads a um, color visualization of the Formesa stress, and I can directly use my web browser to post-process the results, to visualize the results. Let's also check on the displacement field, and I always have the color scale available. And as a last visualization, let's create a warp by vector um, visualization of the displacement field. I use a scale factor of 1,000, and I can directly visualize what's happening. Let's then um, make a nice screenshot of this result for the report generation that we we're going to do next. So we go to Reports, we create a new report, give it a meaningful name, choose what um, assets of my projects I want to be um, I want to have in this um, in the report. And um, the SimScale platform directly creates for me an automated, an automatically um, created report. I can see that a 3D screenshots have been made um, directly, and also the screenshots I did is in here. That concludes the first tutorial. Make sure you check out the other tutorials, and happy simulating.